Another thing that was really important to us, a lot of these big package tours where you have like four or five you know, international bands out of the um, ticket prices get so high that fans can barely afford these shows. Um, and some of uh, the most important part of our audience, you know, the younger crowd, doesn't have like big expensive paying jobs. I mean, you know, when you're young, you don't have a lot of money. So I was like, well, you know, let's do a tour where we can keep ticket prices low. Um, and also the kind of ties in with this, on these big package tours, there's no room for local bands. Because if there's four or five you know, touring bands, they need set time. The local bands don't get to play. And I think part of the evolution of metal is for younger bands getting the opportunity to get up on stage and play their music and do it. Um, so, I was like, you know, what we're going to have to do, we're just going to have to like not take other touring bands out with us to give ourselves more time to play so we can keep ticket prices down and so the young bands have a chance to make some metal. So that's where we got the idea for this. And ticket prices are not over $20 in any city. In some cities, they're only $15. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so hopefully, you know, people will be able to afford to come to the show and um, have fun, enjoy the evening. We're going to be bringing it. It's going to be good. Do you think now that music is less and less accessible, uh, especially for young people? But I mean, for live shows, it's also for cities. Uh, I think it is becoming less accessible, and I think that's a mistake. I think music should be easy to access. You should be able to go to a concert. You should be able to have fun. You should be able to experience it. It shouldn't cost you, you know, a fucking arm and a leg, or do I pay the rent, or do I go to the show? No, you know, that's not cool. I think it's wrong how metal is being marketed in a lot of ways. A lot of uh, promoters, it seems, are just trying to grab the big box, and you can grab more money for a big package tour, charge a higher ticket price, then cuts out the audience. This might be a really hammered company. We played a festival in Jakarta, Indonesia, okay, in the heart of the city, and ticket prices were less than $10. 30,000 people turned out for that show because they could afford to. They could afford to come to the fucking show. So guess what? They came to the show and metal to the place. And I'm like, quick, this is what we're doing wrong as a metal industry. Overcharging our uh, fan base or you know, what we're getting from. I think it's wrong. So we're trying to do our part, rolling back the ticket prices so everyone can afford to the show. Well, we're fans too. You know, we love metal, and I want to see metal continue. It's pretty sad that Europe will miss this tour. Uh, so maybe we can hope to have some live footages or any, maybe not DVD, but some videos. So that well, it is kind of a grand marketing experiment, uh, if you will. If it does well in the States, then we might be willing to try it in Europe, too. If it does well in America. So, like, everybody, like, write your American cousin, tell them, go to the fucking show, so we can get this show in our country. Okay, so do there are no, like, plans for uh, there, at, at the moment, there are no plans to shoot this show for a live DVD. We want people to come to the show. We don't want them to sit at home with their YouTube, waiting for someone to film it with their iPhone. That's not metal. 
Okay, watching a concert on YouTube is not metal. Come to the show with your friends, get up there with the band and headbang and mosh and, you know, have a beer. That's metal. That's what we want people to enjoy, to experience the real thing. Yeah. Yeah, your message is pretty clear, huh? Let's see, it's sold out tonight. Well, uh, the nice story uh, always gets one. Mm -hmm. Yes, but Finland rocks. And you know, when we come to Finland, we have a great time. We meet a lot of metal people, and the shows are always killer. Yeah. <laughs> Peace uh, so you're playing on this uh, boat in Dari, and the cousins on the middle, so I is it wonderful? Yeah, and I think we're kind of looking forward to it. Uh, for us, it's kind of like a vacation um, that doesn't cost us like a lot of money. We're definitely musicians, so really this is the only vacation we get because uh, we can't afford holidays. So we'd never be going on this fucking cruise uh, if we weren't actually playing on it because we couldn't afford it. Yeah. Okay. So, the first time you play on the boat, all sorts of vacation. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time since we had vacation. Yeah. 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 Are you going? Um, oh, Oh, well, maybe you should consider it. It'll be a lot of fun. That costs money. See? Exactly my point. You're making all my points for me. <laughs> okay, so thanks for your time. Oh, thanks for that much.